USDOE announces fundamental shift in LNG export authorization policy, liquefied natural gas alert. On Thursday, 29 May 2014, the U.S. Department of Energy, DOE, announced a proposed change to the procedures it will use to process application to export LNG to non-free trade agreement non-FTA countries. This is a major development and could have significant impact on the U.S. LNG export market. As described in greater detail below, DOE's announcement included three main features. Process change. DOE's proposed change will eliminate the current practice of issuing conditional orders. No longer process application based on the QDOE established in December 2012 and based the sequence in which DOE issued final decision solely on a project completion of the environmental review process required under the National Environmental Policy Act. NEPA, which is usually done at the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, FERC, also for offshore project in federal waters at the U.S. Maritime Administration or U.S. Coast Guard. This proposed change are being made available for public comment upon the issue with comment due by 21 July 2014. Economic Studies DOE announced that it planned to undertake a new economic study to gain a better understanding of how potential U.S. LNG export between 12 and 20 billion cubic feet per day could evoke the public interest and to have the Energy Information Administration EIA, update its previously prepared 2012 LNG export study. Once they are completed, both of these studies will be made available for public comment. Environmental Report In addition, DOE announced and made available for public comment two new reports on environmental issues, namely life cycle GHG analysis and impact of upstream hydraulic factory that DOE state go beyond what is required under NEPA. These two environmental reports are being made available for public comment simultaneously with the May release and the proposed process change described above and comment also will be due by 21 July 2014. DOE announcement has introduced new variables into the non-FTA LNG export application process at DOE. For example, although DOE explained that the two new environmental reports consider potential impact that are beyond the scope of what is required for an environmental analysis or environmental impact statement under NEPA, DOE also note that it will consider the report and commence it received from the public in its public interest determination in connection with every application to export LNG to non-FTA countries, including those that already receive conditional export authorization. DOEQ Today, DOE has processed pending non-FTA application in accordance with the queue it established in December 2012. Under this regime, DOE has issued conditional orders for projects based on the queue and added any new project that file application with DOE at the end of the queue. The agency then would render a final order following its issuance of an environmental review of the project and FERC order. To date, only one final order has issued. Citing changing market dynamic, DOE proposal would eliminate the existing queue. Instead, DOE now proposed to only act on a non-FTA LNG export application after the environmental review for the project required under NEPA is complete. DOE explained that the NEPA review process will be deemed complete either. 30 days after the publication of a final environmental impact statement, phase for project requiring an environmental assessment, EA, UPEN publication by DOE of a finding of no significant impact, 
or open a determination that an application is eligible for a categorical exclusion pursuant to DOE NEPA regulation. The completion of the NEPA environmental review process will not mandate that DOE must act immediately, but rather it will permit DOE to issue a final order. This policy eliminates the conditional order procedure that LNG export project developers have relied on since December 2012 and focus all attention on the environmental review process. As FERC is the lead federal agency for the environmental review for LNG terminals proposed on shore or in state waters, the FERC NEPA review process will become the critical hurdle nearly every pending project must clear before receiving an authorization to export LNG to non-FTA nation from DOE. DOE's rationale is that it hopes to prioritize more commercially viable LNG export projects. Noting that the proposed procedure will ensure that the application otherwise ready to proceed will not be held back by their position in the order of precedent. DOE reached this conclusion presumably because the prosecution of the NEPA review process is quite expensive costing developers millions of dollars, so companies that can finance the NEPA review process are more likely to bring their project to completion. DOE also hopes that by waiting for the completion of the NEPA process, its decision will be based on better information and data, including market impact of the volume proposed to be exported. DOE is accepting public comment on this proposed procedural change. Command will be due by 21 July 2040. Economic study. Following its order authorizing LNG export to non-FTA nation from the Sabine Pass Terminal in 2011, DOE commissioned two studies on the impact of LNG export on the U.S. economy. A microeconomic study performed by the EIA and macroeconomic study performed by NIRA Economic Consulting, collectively the 2012 LNG export study. Also, EIA has issued updated supply, demand, and price information since the 2012 LNG export study. DOE had not commissioned a formal update of either study to date. Instead, DOE updated its analysis in the conditional non-FTA orders it issued as new EIA data was released. The 29 May announcement explained that DOE planned to commission EIA to update its microeconomic study that was part of the 2012 LNG export study to expand the export cases from 6 to 12 PCFRD scenario previously evaluated to a 12 to 20 PCFRD export scenario.